Howdy, this is Tubal Cain again, and uh, I'm on another road trip. I'm just going to cross the uh, Vermilion River here on a bridge that I've never shown before, and I'm over near uh, Lowell, Illinois. And this is the second in a series of uh, videos that I'm doing, and there'll be about six or seven altogether on uh, electricity production here in. Uh, LaSalle County or near LaSalle County and today uh, the topic is to uh, cover hydroelectric power. Now there is not a lot of that going on in Illinois and certainly very little of it here in uh, Streeter, near Streeter or, or LaSalle County, but uh, we will be approaching Star Rock State Park here shortly and that's near Utica, Illinois, on the Illinois River, the Illinois Waterway, and there's a lock and dam and a small hydroelectric power uh, plant there on the dam. So as I come into the park, uh, I'll show you, it's a state park, Star Rock State Park, and I will have to park the car at the visitor center and walk, oh, probably almost a mile, including a very long staircase, so that I can get the best view of the dam. Then I will uh, retrace my steps back to the car and drive on the other side of the river and go to the uh, visitor center there and take some pictures from that side because there's a little bit of an observation desk, uh, deck. And this. Uh, power plant is operated by the city of Peru and all of that power uh, goes on lines that's eight miles away directly to the city of the city of Peru even though it's a state lock and dam there goes a Harley you know in uh, Illinois can you hear that there are no rules uh, Harleys can do anything they want and they do not have to have mufflers they are never stopped for that and I've talked to uh, three or four policemen about that and I never could get an answer but I just think they're told to leave them alone because they are incredibly loud but uh, and I like Harley I think they're neat but uh, do they need to make that much noise all the time so um, a little off topic there again I guess that was a rant uh, you can see the corns about knee high here and here's another state park I'm just passing by this is called Matheson's uh, State Park it's much smaller and uh, now I'm going to turn the camera off until I uh, enter the park and which is only about four miles away talk a little bit more about hydroelectric power at that time I'm getting close to the entrance of the park here so we're just two miles from uh, Utica you see the sign there and uh, we're not going to go off the bridge or over the bridge at this time but uh, this is my old stomping ground. I've been to this uh, park hundreds of times. I know about every foot of trails. It's a pretty good size uh, park. And by the way, the road we just looked past there, that's where, uh, that leads down to St. Louis Canyon where there was that terrible murder of three Chicago women about 1960. And if there was any interest, I would do a rather long video on that. Very interesting subject. And there was a, uh, oh, see the groundhog? It'll slow down a little bit, woodchuck. How much wood can a woodchuck chuck? But uh, yeah, that would be an interesting video, but I don't know if, how many people would, would care to see something like that. But if, if there was any kind of demand, I would, I would do it. I'm turning here to go into the park. We're on state property now, so don't pick any flowers. They don't even want you to pick your nose when you're in here. Can you see the sandstone here? This is an area where there are great uh, sand mines, silica sand mines, and many more are being built under great controversy. But uh, a lot of that sand now, most of the sand is being sent uh, on trains to uh, areas where they do fracking. That's uh, where they pump that sand and water down into the, uh, the oil uh, well and uh, force the oil out. Very controversial, but uh, we need that oil real bad so this is just a little uh, narrow winding road here it'll take us into the parking lot kind of bumpy a member of the state does not have any kind of budget to do any repairs we are broke here and uh, in Illinois and uh, my pension is in jeopardy and many things are in jeopardy because there's, there's so little money 
but uh, this is an interesting park. And you don't want to come here on a Sunday because, and boy, there will be a lot of Harleys here on, on every Sunday. It's a destination for Harleys, but a lot of hiking trails and uh, picnic grounds. And it's really a nice park right on the Illinois River. And Starved Rock stands for the big rock here where legend has it that one Indian tribe starved out another and wouldn't let them off the rock and uh, decimated them. And you know, there's been many archeological uh, studies here and it's all very interesting too. But that's not really what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna talk about hydroelectric power. And uh, here we're coming into the parking lot. There, I don't anticipate many people here this is 9 o'clock in the morning on a uh, Friday morning. So yeah, there's only a handful of cars, but later in, day, in the day it'll be uh, uh, fairly well attended. I'm going to go up that trail to the right, past that visitor center, and you can see just a little bit of the dam there in the distance as I make this turn. I'm at the seawall now. This is the Illinois River and that is the dam. You see where that crane is over there? That's the lock. A lot of birds here. This is a real good place to watch eagles in the, in the uh, winter. And this is Star Rock itself, but it's so overgrown with trees, but there is a flagpole up there on the top. But I have to cl climb clear across the uh, rock, go through a valley, and uh, you see where the dam is over there. I will be up above that uh, dam to the south. The camera's facing right now approximately east. So I will climb up there and uh, I'll show you the stairs I'm going up when I get over there. But uh, and then I'll talk a lot more about uh, the, the power. And from this view, I don't think you can even identify where the uh, power plant is. I'm about a half mile from the car and I have to walk up steps here it's a couple hundred feet in elevation a lot of poison ivy along here leaves of three let them be and the stairs continue some of us wooden stairs others just a trail a lot of water on the trail this morning though as you can see I wasn't kidding a lot of steps I'm out of breath this isn't the final lookout point, but this is Lover's Leap that I'm standing on, and right across the gorge here is Starve Rock itself. You see, they put a boardwalk up there years ago, but it was all just trails when I was a kid. Now, there's some boats out there, and lots of white pelicans. They're still in their migration. It's a good place to fish below the dam here. You see the pelicans flying around? And that uh, island over there is called Eagle Island and uh, they do, that's where a lot of eagles uh, come in the winter because they, they can get a lot of fish around the dam. This is it. The lock is on the far side. This is the dam at Starve Rock. I believe it's a lock and dam number six. And the powerhouse is that square building there. And that is operated by the city of Peru. I said that before. The dam was put in in 1933, but that powerhouse not until about 1990 or 92, something like that. A lot of pelicans over there. Water power produces only about 6.5% of the electricity in the uh, United States, and, but we do consider it renewable or green power. China, Canada, and Brazil are the world's largest producers of uh, hydroelectric power. And the Grand Coulee Dam in Oregon, and I've been there, I've been in the powerhouse, but I was 13 years old. That's our uh, largest power station, much larger than Niagara Falls or uh, Hoover Dam, believe it or not. Now I'm directly above the dam, probably about 100 feet uh, above it, and the uh, elevation here is approximately 600 
feet above sea level and I, maybe I can find that exact elevation when I go across to the visitor center which you can see over there. And there is a barge in the lock right now. Now the area that those pelicans are in over there is uh, right below the powerhouse and you can see some turbulence in the water so it's generating right now. And there are four incline shaft propeller turbines connected to gearboxes that turn uh, and rotate the generator shafts. And it produces about 7,600 kilowatts. And there's nine miles of power line and it, it's uh, underwater, underground, at least uh, until you get over uh, away from the river. And that power line travels along the Illinois Michigan Canal where there's a bike trail which I've been on quite a few times. I might do a video of that someday too. And there's a pleasure boat out there waiting to lock through but they gotta wait for the barge. Now prior to 1933 this uh, river wasn't really navigable most of the year and up till that time the uh, Illinois Michigan Canal which is less than a mile from here was uh, how they moved a lot of freight between Chicago and La Salle to meet the Illinois River at La Salle which is well, seven miles from here or so but when they built the waterway and that involved a bunch of dams I'm not sure just how many uh, then they had a, a 15 foot channel for the barges and uh, I understand that this dam was put in with the potential of someday putting the powerhouse in, but that was a full 60 years after the dam itself was built. And uh, the dam is about 600 feet long. The, the normal drop here is about uh, 10 or 12 foot between the uh, upper and lower part and th that is why a uh, water power is hydroelectric power is not that uh, uh, available in the state of Illinois there just isn't enough drop not like you have out west you need a head now we're going to cover two other uh, dams one I think is operating over at Dayton and uh, I'm going to take it to Marseilles, Illinois and show you that powerhouse even though that hasn't operated since the uh, uh, early 90s. Well I just left the park. I think I hiked about two miles uphill both ways. I remember when they built this bridge I was in high school. Now they're talking about replacing it because they said it's old. I can't believe that. But we're crossing the Illinois River. And if I can swing the camera, now maybe you can see up uh, upstream, I think, but you can't really see the dam from here. I don't think that showed you much. But we'd be coming into the village of uh, Utica. A tornado hit here about 10 years ago and just, I don't know how many it killed, it just really raged a rampage with that uh, that town and uh, uh, there's a monument there you know, to those that died and I'm going to turn right here on this river road which will take us to Ottawa eventually but I'm just going to go as far as the dam and get out. It says road work here. I hope it's not blocked and believe me oh they're just mowing today. That's what they're doing. They need to do some road work in Illinois, and I don't mean just mowing. This road's pretty good, though. Just about a mile to the lock. Okay, we're going to pull into the waterway here. Run by our lovely Army Corps of Engineers, if you can see that sign there. Uh, and Peru leases or rents the uh, water rights from them. I bet that was a struggle to get anything out of them. And it's another bloated bureaucracy that's probably done more harm than it has a good. Uh, I'd like to do a video sometime on on uh, locking a, a barge through. It's, it's pretty interesting. This one is so large 
the barge that's going through there, the that's locking through there now, they had to split it. So they do it in two stages, and it just takes a long time. So they had uh, tied up that one, and now they're going to run another barge into the lock, lock that through, and then go reattach it. it takes a long time, especially if you're that pleasure boat out there that's waiting to go through. They might be there three hours. Corps of Engineers, U.S. Army. And that's the visitor center. This is where a lot of people come to do their eagle watching in January and February. I've been here. It's pretty neat. Here's the barge that's waiting to go through. I don't know what that bulk product is on there. I'm not used to seeing that. It's usually grain and oil. And but they're letting the water out of the lock now. I know I'm getting sidetracked here. See the turbulence right on the other side of the gate? And across the river is Star Rock. And when you look at the dam there, you can visualize where I just was 30 minutes ago, up high. And there's the powerhouse. And there's the pleasure craft that's going through with a lady sitting on the foredeck, and that's the one that you saw out in the water before, and they have to lock her through. If you come through here with a, a kayak, they have to lock you through, but they might make you wait a long time. And the water level is dropping. In a few moments, she'll be out of sight. Then they'll open the gates on the other end, and uh, out they go. I've been through the locks, uh, and it's it's interesting. Other than it takes a lot of time. Again, the city of Peru powerhouse. I have not been in that one, but my brother was in it with somebody he knew, and he said uh, he called me up and said, "Do you want to go?" And I, I couldn't make it. Now I kicked myself in the rear end because somebody else works there, and I'll never be able to go through it. When I was a boy growing up in Peru, that was the bridge, a wooden bridge. I remember going over it, and it turned to let uh, barge traffic through, and it turned with this large key. I remember two men stick, walking on the bridge, sticking that down the center, and walking in a circle, and turning the bridge so that it was parallel with the river. And then the bridge looked like this. And that bridge was torn down in the very early 50s. Or 1950, it says. Do you like large propellers? It's 87 inches in diameter, and it came out of the towboat Indiana. Now, while I'm out here and talking about electricity, believe it or not, even though we got a powerhouse, there is their auxiliary generator to produce power here so they can open and close the locks if they do not have external power. You know, there are thousands of these units around too. Many of them are Caterpillar. That one doesn't appear to be. 